Hello. Here we have a Dell Inspiron 1525 notebook computer. Today I'm going to be switching out the hard drive in this unit. So I'll show you how to do that. It's a real simple and quick project. Dell really made it easy on this laptop. Okay, so now I flip the laptop over. Dell was nice enough to put diagrams on here to show you what the stuff is. C and M, that's memory and something else. Where's the, let me get it in the frame here. That locks in your CD-ROM drive. And over here, see the little canister? These two screws hold in your hard drive. So what you will do is grab you a little Phillips screwdriver, like that one. Work these two screws out. See them come out? It's itty bitty. Don't lose those. They're itty bitty. Take out the other screw. There's the other one. Don't lose your screws because they're itty bitty. Now this hard drive here, see there's a little indentation here? Just pull it with your fingers. And out comes your hard drive caddy. Just like that. This is the hard drive we're going to take out. And this is the one we're going to put back in. Yeah, I know it makes absolutely no sense on the service to replace a nice solid state drive with an old 5400 RPM Toshiba. But you'll have to watch my other video to figure out why I'm doing this. Okay, so now I've pulled my caddy out. And as you can see, if it'll focus on it, there, take my word for it, there's a Phillips screw right there. Just a clip on this end. Clip there. And another Phillips screw right there. So we'll pull them two screws and the hard drive will come right out of the caddy. Okay, now, I've got my new hard drive in, or old hard drive I should say screws in there screws in there and I'll give you a pointer on this computer if you're replacing a hard drive and your new hard drive is thinner than the old one you will need this piece it's just a little plastic bracket I think you can pull that stuff off and stick it if you want to but I haven't done it on this one but since I'm going in the other direction I don't need this with this drive because the old drive is thick so, what you're going to do, just like it come out, slide it in, and I'll, and I'll show you why you need that bracket. It'll go on the bottom here. Because if you don't, this thing just slides in, and these pins won't connect, and it will not recognize the hard drive. So, we'll slide this back in. Little itty bitty screws. And that's all it takes. Anyways, I'm going to put this up as a separate video. Because just in case someone needs to change out a drive in one of these units. And doesn't want to listen to me ramble. But if you want to know why I'm changing from a solid state to a regular drive. You'll have to watch the upcoming video I'm going to post. When I figure out the ending to it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope I help you out. More to come later.